So this is my seventh gen iPod Classic, and it's literally my favorite device right this minute to use. I was um, for a couple of days, basically a week in Myrtle Beach in South Carolina, and I had this little guy with me. What made this a great device to take with, you leave your smartphone at the hotel, and you take this little guy with you, earphones uh, in your ears, this little guy in your pocket, and you listen to music. Now, what makes this device different, the, the iPod Classic, is the fact that you download music to it. So you get on your MacBook, and what makes that a great experience is it's not connected to the internet. This is my daughter's iPod, and I think it's a fantastic device as a unit. At some stage, they're going to stop supporting it, so your security updates will will end and at that stage this is just something that needs to get chucked in the bin it's no longer usable because it uses a wi-fi signal to do whatever it needs to do whereas this fifth gen ipod classic completely usable by the way i i keep tape on it just to keep the back safe i don't want to scratch it where it's utterly and completely naked. See the difference? That's still beautiful. Uh, even though I took it on vacation with me, I try and look after it and keep it where it's just completely fine. So here are a couple of things that you need to know. One, you don't stream music to this device, you download music. So it's never connected to the internet. You will not receive messages on it. It's not going to bug you while you're listening to your favorite music. And that is what makes this kind of timeless. So even though Apple no longer supports it, there is such a huge community that still provides support for these iPod Classic. I think, I hope we'll be okay. And if something breaks, you replace it. You go on eBay or there are like a hundred websites where you can go to to find parts for these. And they're solid supported by the community no longer by the by apple but by the community and i find that amazing so this still has a ton of support out there for the average joe also to repair them like i just repaired this fifth gen this was my first ipod the nicks and cuts and bruises on this ipod is there because I put them there. So they're very repairable. The only things I replaced in this iPod was I added a new battery on top here, and then um, I replaced the, the hard drive, the spinning hard drive, with a 128 gig flash card, or flash memory. So it's fine, this, this thing is fine. And I'll probably use this until, you know, something else breaks and then replace it. There's so much support out there to have digital music available to you. And I almost feel like it's it's a virtually a sin throwing these things away when there's so much support out. So that's really all I had. This is a fantastic device. In my opinion, it is the best experience in music listening for fairly cheap that you can find. In fact, I'm gonna put this out there. This in my opinion, is better than the iPhone. You don't get any interruptions while you're listening to music. But for now, thanks for watching.